Alright. Go! No Japan. No warrior now. This park. Microphone check one two. What is this? No Japan. No warrior now. Parks on the board. Boys coming, he is. or so it seems that way. January two thousand. The lover boy, Cert certified, certified lover boy. Yeah. Can I? Can I just did? I had to. I have to admit my my fandom. I caught myself and felt really weird afterwards. You got the heart part? No, I thought about it though. <laughs> um, I, my hairline's not that good. Rory, if you would have came in here with a heart in your head, <laughs> just know that would have been the greatest show ever. That oh, would have yeah. been the greatest you know, episode. You ever. trying to say I couldn't pull it off? No, you can definitely pull it off. One thousand percent, but I would have been crying. No, we need that. The heart Streets part, need yo, that. Yeah. I would have. The heart part crying. is hilarious. You don't think? It, you don't think it's funny that people think that you could potentially get the heart part? No, I think that's fire. Yeah, and the Irish, Irish, the Irish heart. Yeah, Joe, I pulled off the slits in the eyebrows. I pulled everything off. <laughs> so do the heart part. No, nah, you can't do it. No, no, no. I'm not even let Rory go. Like that. Yeah, no, you can't. No, do nah, nah, do, do it, Rory. If do if he shit. if Drake didn't do it, then I'd be like, yeah, okay, yeah, so okay, get it all. But if do you th if you're 30 do it on your beard. and a Drake beard, yeah, no. put it put on your beard. I didn't even think about it. The heart beard. <laughs> now I gotta do remember when Prince brought his shit down? Like See? I can do it with the heart. Got a slave on his face, there you go. <laughs> that's not what I was referring to. <laughs> no, I'm just I know that's not what you were. I don't think Rory should do that personally. No, I know, but Prince definitely got slave like a little his tiny Yeah. I thought I stopped listening when he put him and Prince in the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> don't you dare. I don't know well, what he's saying. It's the purple one versus like the, the red, red, one. Pink, the red one. pink one. Yeah. Oh, man. Red rain. <laughs> red rain. <laughs> not buying that single? No. Ginger rain. <laughs> Do y'all have any serious takes about like the biggest artists of our time? I, I was going to admit, album I was gonna admit a, a fault of mine of how excited I got thinking this album was coming when he posted it. I was like, oh, we get a Drake album tonight. And then I caught myself. I was like, wow, you're <laughs> <laughs> Let it go, Savon. Leave it there. <laughs> Fuck you, Yo, mean. Savon, who are you flagging for? <laughs> <laughs> That's the part I'm still confused about. And the little podcast summary is getting shorter and shorter. Yeah. The time stairs. Yo, honestly, what are you doing? If you think I'm sleeping, don't notice you have me fucked up. <laughs> Yo, have y'all been peeping his timestamps? No. They all over the place. Yo, the fella said, what's up at yeah. five? <laughs> hey, then at 72, they brought up the verses. Yo, sl sleepers, and then they had sleepers, sleepers, sleepers the said, what's up at five? <laughs> 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 Yo, what are you honestly? You gonna get fired? Oh man, that's a funny shit, Savon. Oh, Look, man. this is the only place where you tell somebody they're gonna get fired and they smile at you and not just nod. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 I know, I know. yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, I know. That is what he just did, right? Yeah, all right. yeah, yeah. But when is this? January? Yes. January twenty twenty one. Yes, you guys. More more great music. He ain't missed yet. <laughs> Number one pod. Yeah. I mean, we don't have no music the, to talk about. The Kings. He's in, he's in, he's in, he got a ninja hey, hoodie on. Yo. Yeah, he got a ninja hoodie on. Here's our Drake takeaway. More great music to yeah. come. Yeah, that's all I we mean, got. I, I think Drake is going to give us some good music. Mm, change the game again. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we have no music to go off of, but we can assume that this is going to be more good music, at least. And... That's it. We don't have no music. We can't really talk about it. I'm not going to talk about the the uh, an the animated album covers that he did over. I, I mean, thought the uh, I thought the, that was a good idea. I thought it was no, that was I mean, dope. It was dope I, for the video. But I mean, like, you know, what could have ripped it from about? Hove, but I'm just a Hove engineer. Mm. Yeah, remember when uh, Hove did the commercial? I forgot who it was for. Uh, where he did all his album covers yeah. in one. Yeah. That was mm -hmm. dope. But not. I, I like what they did um, on this trailer. Yeah, me too. For sure, it, it it gave you it did what you wanted it to do. It left you suspenseful, like oh shit, the album's coming. And mm -hmm. But not the night that I thought it was. It's a long it's a long rollout though. It's pretty interesting. No, mm -hmm. not really. Uh, I remember it was rumored that he was coming in December. Yeah, and he pushed him off. Right. Yeah. So yeah, but but to announce <laughs> January in October. Yeah, for Drake, that's a that's a pretty. Yeah, I feel long, like he's had a couple quick drops. Several. Very much so. Yeah. yeah. When the world was functioning. Sure, it's well, yeah, absolutely, and, that's, and I was gonna say now it's even crazy that nah, yeah. Drake is like, yeah, fuck this year. <laughs> I'm not putting music out. Do you yeah. think he's starting something new with like the top of the year, the bigger acts? You think they'll follow? What do you mean? Do like, you think more bigger acts will drop top of the year? Because usually oh, bigger acts um, drop end of the year. I mean, yeah, I think people are making music now. I think they're gonna have to look at the 
Well, Park said it makes a lot of sense. Now that I think about it. This is why I hate this fucking podcast. That right there, what Maul just did. I got attacked months ago, mad months ago, when I was like, I think Drake and Cole and these niggas coming at the same time, top of the year, and I think they're looking at each other. I think, I <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> you know, shit. I don't think we said Who that said, We said that to you? <laughs> I don't We've actually only all oh, been talking about oh. Cole, Kendrick, and Drake Dropping well, yeah, at the, the same time this year No, oh, whatever Go ahead but, well, um, They're still saying Kendrick is dropping 2020 we'll Not see. like just what I'm seeing with He's outside doing this video He's over here with this artist Like they're alluding to that I think Kendrick is dropping 2020 I don't know sure. I don't know I think he is I think everyone is holding off Until they can tour Deductive reasoning tells me That this Drake album Is going to be incredible like, yes, I haven't heard any of the new music, but I've heard all them leaks. Mm. And some of them leaks I liked a lot. Mm-hmm. I heard, uh, what was the last shit? Uh, Care Package Fantasy. What, what's the name of that fucking <laughs> shit he put out? Care Package dark, Fantasy? Dark Lane demo tapes? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Close enough, yes. Yeah, yeah. My right beautiful demo tape. Yeah, he's got. <laughs> no, he had a Care Package that he dropped. Yeah, uh, Care, music pa- that he put Care out. Package yeah. and uh, Demo, demo Lane's tapes. Road. Dark, <laughs> whatever that. dark Lane demo tapes. I'm just saying, I like some of the shit on there too. Mm-hmm. And I think he was just cleaning out the stash. Mm-hmm. So if I like that music that sounded like that when he was cleaning out the stash, I, I, have, I have high expectations for this project. And I get it, set myself up. But I'm doing it. No, I think that's I th- yeah, that's, that's that's a pretty good. And I also think that the fact that he uh, he's had more time. Well, we've all been gifted more time with this pandemic to sit still and kind of. And if you're a writer, yeah, if yeah. you're a creator, I mean, you know, what I mean, you have access to your studio whenever you want. I can only assume that Drake has had more time to write and listen to music and create music with his team. So, and that is where spooky hours come in yeah mm. because he announced this album and there's no big drake single out yet right well there there is i don't know what's <clears throat> been the laugh now it's cry later joint i'm probably saying the name mm-hmm. wrong i do love that record mm-hmm. uh yeah laugh now cry later <coughs> i think had we been outside that record would be yeah insane because it's one of those i know it's just we're all inside it's it's a really really good outside record i, mm-hmm. I don't think that homeboy and his team leave anything to chance so I agree with I you. think that agree now a big record, because you know a big record is coming. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if, for sure. You know, all the time. So now he got with his team in the little science lab <laughs> and a record. <laughs> They'll call 40s house. That's what science you call lab. a studio now. <laughs> <laughs> That's how long you've been retired. A record. <laughs> Your little recording area. <laughs> but no, I'm not talking about a studio. I, I told y'all, I'm documenting on this podcast and saying I, I think that he and his team are very scientific with with the const- how they construct some of this stuff, the planning of some of this stuff. Very calculated. Like, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. been his whole yeah. career. So yeah, I think a calculated. song is coming about you being home in the pandemic, hungry, yeah. <laughs> fucking... <laughs> Well, I, mean, I he, think a song he, like he, that he, is coming. He did like, it with oh, shit, how did he know? Like, mm-hmm. the, how did he know I was like this right now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, how did he? He just tapped into how what I was feeling. Yo, like, one of those is that, coming. That that is actually the definition in a sentence of Drake's career. How did he know I felt this way? Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's really good at that. Yeah, he is. How did he know that? Yeah, I just can't wait to hear it. I can't wait I, to hear it. That's it. Listen, That's I would I love I with the title of Certified Lover Boy. I would love. If it was literally just straight raps of like 6 p.m. in New York's and just called it Certified Lover Boy <laughs> over him just rapping crazy for 10 records. I would always like that from Drake. I want to hear some crooning. <laughs> yeah. I need some R&B. Yeah. This, this winter? Yeah. Yeah, I need, I need, I need some crooning this winter. Mm. Kid Cudi Man on the Moon 3 is coming. Oh, he yeah. announced that one as well. I didn't see that. Drake announced that? Yeah. No, Cudi announced that. <laughs> Drake announcing Cuddy's album would be mad funny. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. Hey, yo, Cud, you want me to talk, want me to give the world this one? Hopefully, uh, I don't think he put a date to it, but hopefully uh, he links back up with a meal because that was that was the best uh, Cuddy we ever got for sure, for sure. Shout out to a meal. All right, well, we need a date, Cuddy. Yeah. That's all you got, Bob? Rory? I'm sitting here quiet so you can get on your cutty shit. Rory is in the cutty hive. It don't, nah. doesn't seem like it right now. I've, I've said this plenty of times. I'm not really a cutty fan like that. I just don't let y'all disrespect his influence on music now. Mm. I'm not really the big cutty guy. 
Uh, I love that first I would, album. If you go yeah, on his like, first album, was, was his first album was yeah. really good. But yeah, I would never disrespect Cuddy. I, a lot of the stuff that he put out after that first I'm one, I'm sick of Rory. Was like, uh, just not it. You want to see something? He Show doesn't me. have any Cuddy in his Serato. <laughs> you want to see something? <laughs> <laughs> I go hard because y'all disrespect him too much. No, 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 no. I'm not accusing you of having Matt Cuddy in your Serato. Un- unbeknownst to me. Whoa, whoa, whoa! There's nothing. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa, whoa. Takes up the whole screen. <laughs> takes up the whole screen right there. It's, I'm, it's, I'm it's to three up. projects with zero plays on one of them. <laughs> and, Yo, the other, and the other one is Man on the Moon. I just want to tell y'all, <laughs> Great and, and I'm not talking about Cuddy anymore. <laughs> uh oh, here comes some hate. I'm, no, I'm just saying, y'all. <laughs> you hate Cuddy for some reason. I, Every you, time this comes, I up, become y'all say this the, about the me. Cuddy stan. Of I don't someone think. That's I think. Really I think like Joe that. hates Cuddy fans. I don't think he hates Cuddy. I mean, he doesn't know Cuddy personally to hate him. But I just think that he think. No, he when hates, I met him, he was awesome to me. I keep saying that. Yeah, no, cool, real cool dude. But like mad, receptive, and warm. Yeah, mm. real cool dude. But I just think that I have, Joe I have just no hates reason that to beef with, with Cuddy. No, my issue is see how Rory just bring up that influence word. Mm-hmm. I think that y'all throw that influenced word around a lot for a few people over some of the same shit. He he is for sure. Cuddy's influence high on that influence. We just talked about how 808s. But was when probably people one say of the most influence, impactful albums, I need to know what follows sound. that. Like I'm, I'm done with. Roy yo, he was. Done, Roy he had was had I, I just gave you the point. Literally, we literally, you asked a question about the most impactful albums of the last 15 years. We brought up 808s as maybe the number one as far as how music sounds now. Mm-hmm. Where did 808s derive from? Mm-hmm. Kid Cuddy. Mm-hmm. Bingo. <laughs> It's easy. We're not going to waste time with this because we've had even this on the, even before. on the Kanye fashion I've shit with the tight jeans shit was Cuddy. I've always disagreed with this. I've always disagreed. That Cuddy with influenced this. Kanye. He'd tell you that he's yeah. on the intro. Like Cuddy put the album together. I think he wrote most of it. Anyway, yeah, so like, about that, it's his sound. Yeah. Awesome, y'all. Y'all. I always refute this with uh, Free Stack. I do. Oh, oh, with, oh with well, the that's low. like. Yeah. You know, yeah, but how many times? But that, 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 see, and that's my issue. Don't just do that. How many times are we gonna, like, if three stacks made the cake? No, but that's like saying, and then mad niggas just keep yeah, evolving we, the cake. But we do yeah, it. Here's we just gotta, gonna say all of them here, here's made the, the cake. Can I can I re- reply to that? Of course. Eight oh eights. When eight oh eights happened, directly after all music changed to that melodic shit. It was a darker tone than what Love Below was. After Love Below came out, it was the only thing, the most unique thing at that time. And not everyone really followed suit. I disagree with a lot of what Eight, you said. 808s happened, then So Far Gone happened, and all music sounded like that. Mm-hmm. But it seems... Every, it's not like when Love Below came out, everyone started making that music. Of course, but they every, were influenced by it, but, 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 but it had more of a direct impact to modern music because everyone sounded like that immediately and has been and you're, for the past two decades. And you're taking that from release dates? Uh, <laughs> Yeah. There's some validity to that, yeah, for sure. Not yeah. only that, but when I the artist actually works that. with the artist who put out that type of sound before him, it's yeah. like yeah. that clearly but then what do we, some then, influence. But if you want to go this yeah, route, then what just, do we do? We go Love crazy. Below, then we go to Miseducation? Like, we could just keep going down that no, line if we can't, want. No, you can't, because there's a clear distinction in Miseducation and the Love Below. Is one not influenced by the other? I don't know. Has Three Stacks ever said that? I don't know either. But I mean, if you just keep going down the rabbit hole of who was influenced by who or who started what, you're just going to go in circles. I'm telling you directly what happened after 808s was all music started sounding exactly like that and all rappers started singing. Yeah, but if I subscribe to that. That's not what happened after Love Below. That is that is what happened because everything you name it happened after Love Below. Like I don't put as much stock in hey this dropped and then this dropped right after and this dropped right after. I believe it's, in it's, the, it's, I believe. Let me finish. I okay. believe in that ripple effect, the creative ripple effect, where three stacks could have done something in 05, and you may not hear the effect of that until 2010, 11, and twelve. I believe in that. So I don't subscribe I to that. Wait, let me finish. Let me, let me, let me just, just finish. Let me just finish refuting one was some of that shit you said. Change. Let me finish refuting some of that shit you said because I disagree with almost all of it. Mm. I also disagree that you said. Uh, what? Which one did you say was more of a dark album? Uh, darker by the tones, not not. What by the album content. are you referring to? Eight oh eight. It's a dark. The tones of it are are much darker. I don't think that eight oh eight is much darker than the love below. I don't. To- tone wise, not the content. <laughs> I remember I played Love Below for my father and said, wow, this guy, he's really going through something. Like, yeah, it's a, Love Below is a really dark album if you understand what he was getting across. But the tones and the music and the feeling of it is not as dark as what 808s is. It's actually much more musical than Love Below. 808s is 
the darker tones and Parks can probably speak better to it instrument wise of what music is now. There was there was a lot of upbeat stuff on uh, Love Below, Happy Valentine's Day, love, love, uh, so, uh, Hey Ya, uh, uh, like there was up there roses, was upbeat stuff. Roses, uh, the blue and pink to record like. Yes. Is Roses not a dark record? It to is, but not uh, sonically. Not, we're not, not talking sonically. about sonically. The content of Love Below is a y'all, really y'all, dark album. Y'all it's tech, a really y'all dark teching, album. Teching me out. I think no, we're talking I, about the I sound, I no, get, not the content. I think I get what y'all are saying. No, you just gravitate towards lyrics, and we're gravitating towards sound, sound baby. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's what we're speaking to is the sound, not Correct. not so much the content. The content. Yeah. Because I I would say yes, if on an intellectual level, the Love Below is a much darker album than 808s. If you really get into what Andre 3000 is saying and the ups and downs <laughs> that he takes you through that album from fucking prototype to roses. Right. And the and just his life when it comes to relationships. It's a fucking dark album. But when you listen to it and you listen to Hey Ya and Vibrate and Take Off Your Cool and My Favorite Things, mm-hmm. like it's yeah, it's it feels good. But yeah. if you listen, it's not good. Right. <laughs> 808s sounds like a dark album. So far gone sounded like a dark album. Yeah. And music followed directly after that. Correct. So, yeah, I think it had more of an impact on modern music. I'm not saying where Kanye got it from or who did it first. I'm saying directly after 808s happened and So Far Gone happened. I think they both had equal impacts on modern music. I think that uh, 808s and So Far Gone had a more direct impact on what we're hearing today. That's what I'm saying. That's it. Right now. That's it. Absolutely. I think you you gentlemen handled that perfectly, honestly. Thanks.